What is up, it's What If, and I have not made a video in a long time, and I know, well actually no, I made some recently, but I haven't made a review in a long time, and that's because I just don't mind them that much, but I thought to do one now because, well, um, obviously, um, since I'm working on the project, I don't know how many videos I'm going to be uploading, like I might upload a short here and there, but like, I want to give you some content while I'm back on the on the lego stuff i mean i'm still going to be doing stuff on my gaming channel but i have a capture card that had an issue and i just really haven't felt the motivation on the gaming channel to make videos and i've been making videos i actually have a decent amount on there and i've been gaming still just the video is just eh right now but we got the final first set hold on i need to grab the box so i can read all the stuff off it all right so this is actually only the second lego set i have bought recently this um year and usually by now i buy a lot of lego sets for christmas money i don't think i got that much this year and i didn't really spend it on christmas on lego stuff i actually bought a bunch of FNAF stuff as i do like that stuff and now thinking of it i know it's really weird to say in a review video but i should have put um the gaming stuff on this channel i probably could have got a lot of traction from that and still make you guys happy but I decided to start a separate channel for some reason and here we are. But the set is called 503rd Clone Troopers Battle Pack, so it's actually the battle pack this time. I don't know why I'm out of breath, but yeah, it's recommended for 86 and up and has 119 pieces. Yeah, we got uh, four new clone troopers and just a reference, here's what a normal 501st agent from the 2020 set looks like compared to these guys. Yeah, their helmets I really like, but I don't like how they don't have the visor down here. I still cannot wait for our new phase to Captain Rex. Captain Rex is one of my favorites. That's why I like these five of first sets. But yeah, let's get a look into the figures, and then we'll take a look at the actual set itself. It's not very big. Alright, and also, if you're wondering what those boats are doing in the background, those are actually for the stop motion I'm actually working on. So yeah, that's a little teaser, but I'm not showing anything really. I have a teaser coming out actually May 31st, regardless if I'm done or not. But I should be either be done or close to being done with the film by then. But we'll take a look. But besides that, we'll take a look at the figures and we'll take a look at the clone trooper. Um, what's it called? The Five of First Clone Specialist. And he has a new visor piece compared to like all the other ones that are in this set. And you do get an extra of these. I did try this on a Mando helmet. I do not know where um, the Mandalorian helmet is right now. Did I try it on? But yeah, it does fit. Um, so if you want to use it on there, I don't know what you would do with exactly with it. But yeah, he is having the original, I think, actually. Let me make sure. It's not the original, original Torch Machine. No, it is. It is the... Um, one that you use on the 2020 model version. It was blue arms instead. Same helmet, but with the whole part. And yeah, it's just the same trooper, I guess. Just blue arms and a new visor. The heads are all exactly the same on these troopers. And I like these heads better than the angry clone head. And these heads are my some of my favorite heads that like I like to use. And next, we'll take a look at the 501st Officer. And yeah, I also will say I'm planning to do a a five of no five a Star Wars Battlefront stop motion after this, so it's gonna be a while before that. It shouldn't be too long, but I'm gonna take a while to find all the troopers and stuff I need to rebuild. But yeah, this five of first officer does remind me a lot of Rex. I might try to find my face to Rex stuff and make use this because this piece I feel like they're gonna use since since they did something like this. So they're gonna recolor this part black. But they, um, in the Skywalker Saga, they have used this piece on him. So, yeah, I, I haven't played the game, but looking at the DLC, uh, yeah, I'm going to eventually buy it when I get a job. I My dad's trying to get me a job at his place. I do have an ID now, so I can get a job. So, yeah, if you see my latest short, you might know why I'm also trying to get a job. But, yeah, same head. But, yeah, I do love these rangefinder pieces and pieces in blue. Now, I do like that. Since we have orange, we have blue. No, they haven't made purple. No. But, um, yeah. And this is going to be, regardless, probably the standard clone helmet now. Which is a shame, but also, yeah, it still works because it gives you more customization. So, yeah, let's take a look at the... Uh, let's just take a look at one of these because... 
if we bring the other guy down that I have on the thing, he is the exact same. But yeah, they have they both had the visor, and I think you get yeah you get three of these because I have an extra one. Yeah, but same head, same helmet print. Actually, no, the helmets on these are all of these. I think no, the trooper just has something different. But like all the other guys have little lines on them. I think or no. Did I get my helmet screwed up? Yeah. I'm not gonna big it. Yeah. This guy and these two are actually no. This one's supposed to have this helmet on here. So this is the normal one. But yeah. Oh well. They're all troopers. They're all basically the same. I mean, I couldn't really tell difference until now. Because I'm using actually my Death Star lamp that I got for Christmas for my stepdad. Um, and it's an LBE lamp, so yeah, it makes stop motions look better. Even when I don't use it, it still looks good, but, yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, those are all the troopers, and also, they do, each of the heavy, the heavy trooper, yeah, um, has this on their back. Okay, this is a re-record for this section, because I like to spread them around. Um, so yeah, this thing does have a lot of movement, and I do like it. I do not know what to call it specifically, but since there's licensing issues you can't um lego can't sell us the figures and yeah i do not li like though how they're charging 20 dollars for them 15 was decent but 20 dollars for a bunch of these and a few figures it just feels like a 15 dollar deal but stupid inflation these days yeah and uh, i wouldn't have bought this normally the only reason i did buy it is because it was the only one at my walmart and i had 20 dollars and i was gonna honestly just save it or either buy something for my gaming channel or just buy a random like i said there was none on clearance and yeah this thing was like it was either that or a minecraft set and a minecraft set they're good but my walmart takes forever to restock these so i was like screw it i'm just gonna buy this one and so yeah there's a lot of features to this you can move around the legs up and down like this to have them close in i mean i don't i don't think you guys really care about this part but i might as well show it off because it's part of the set you guys are only here for the figures um because yeah everyone likes the figures but yeah you can move this up and down it would be nice if you can move it downwards but you can only move it up in this and yes i just instead of a stud shooter um that's a thing is this mine broke off a leg or two <laughs> I, I have been shot this thing i got this like sunday and i'm recording this video wednesday night it's gonna be going up on a thursday morning so yeah and yeah you can move the legs like this and have it in a weird position i guess i don't know why you do that um but yeah there's a lot of posability to this to this bad boy yeah, this, I guess you can move these things around. There's not much else to do about this set, honestly. And the box um, is like this, and I can go grab my instructions, actually. There we are. Yeah, this is what the box looks like. And the instructions are your basic newer instructions. I do also have the Toe Trooper one from last year. I will be rebuilding the figures from that and using them in stop motion, I think. I don't know if I'm going to go all out last time, but I think I might, because that was very special in the last Battlefront stop motion from two years ago. But anyways, there's not much else to say about this set. I hope you guys liked this review, and I will see you guys in the next video.